The Field and Stream sleeping bag boasts 50 degrees of comfort at $30 price, but is it worth the cost? Let's find out. Constructed entirely of polyester, this bag measures about 77 inches long and 33 inches wide. This matches the specifications listed on their website, however, the weight does not. The website lists 3 pounds, when realistically it's closer to 4, at about 3.8 pounds. And on the topic of specs that are not matching up, the website lists a hook and loop system for closure, and there is nothing Velcro or hook and loop related on the sleeping bag. Awkward specs aside, however, this bag does do what it's designed to do. On an evening that reached no lower than 50 degrees, I slept quite comfortably inside. The inner lining is nice and soft, and the bag is spacious enough to be comfortable. The sleeping bag does come with its own bag for storage and travel, as well as two bungee straps for wrapping around the sleeping bag once you've rolled it up. Once in bag form, the dimensions measure roughly 9.5 inches across diameter and 17 inches long. It also has the ability to take two sleeping bags and zip them together into one larger one for those more intimate moments. The zipper teeth are made of nylon while the clasp is made of metal. As with most zippers out there that are poorly designed, as you zip this bag up you must be careful or you will get the sleeping bag material caught within the zipper. So what are my thoughts on the sleeping bag? Well for 30 bucks it's a great bargain. Considering it is a two-season bag, it is certainly not going to keep you warm on some more frigid nights, but that's not what it's designed for anyway. It is great for backyard camping or even a kid's sleepover, but also could be used on a warm summer night out in the wilderness. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button and get subscribed. If you're looking for a cheap tent to pair with this bag, check out this video up here. If you have any comments on how we can improve or any future ideas for films, let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.